Are you looking for the digital steam iron in your budget? Well in today's video, we break down the top 5 best digital steam iron that are available on the market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price quality, durability, and more to see the more information about these product. I found these products much helpful for people like you. You can check out the description below also make sure you subscribe for more videos. Okay so let's get started with the video. Number 5. Black Plus Decker Digital Advantage Professional. This black and decker is pretty simple, but covers all the basics. A stainless steel sole plate with 64 steam holes, digital readout, 3 settings, which is why it's just lower than the Maytag, and improved steam flow over other Maytag steam irons, and the three-way auto shutoff I've come to expect. This black and decker is far better than anything else I could find in the same price range. An excellent steam iron for the cost. Number 4. G13102 Steam Iron. The material of the sole plate is the first unique feature that stands out, titanium infused ceramic. This is the same stuff they use in their flat irons and heats up fast while being able to take a ton of abuse and delivers quality steam from the 400 microvolts on its surface. The digital readout swaps between any kind of fabric and swivels to the side for easy access to the spout on the water tank, making refills easy. Standard auto shutoff, anti-drip technology, steam blast settings that can be toggled from low to full with a small lever and an 8-foot retractable cord round out this package. Number 3. Per Steam Ultra Steam Iron. This is the digital version of the professional grade model. With a ceramic sole plate that this iron heats quickly and has per steam's unique axial located steam holes for great steam coverage. The digital readout is very easy to read and comes with 9 preset temperatures making setting to your specific needs quick and easy. We particularly liked how the settings were labeled for each fabric taking the guesswork out of it. The Per Steam Ultra also has the standard 3-way auto shutoff, anti-drip technology, steam blast settings. This iron can use regular tap water and provides vertical steaming. The vertical steam option removes the need for a separate garment steamer. Number 2. Butrel 1800 Watt Steam Iron. Compares well with the Rowenta model with a much lower price point. The steam iron comes with all the bells and whistles for an iron, it's meant primarily for home use, and is pretty well priced for this spot in the market. The one knock I had with this model was when steaming the burst wasn't quite as strong as with the Rowenta and the Chi model. If the steam feature is your primary goal you may want to go with one of those over this model. It has multiple fabric settings, 1,800 watts of power and the preset settings are super useful. The 11-ounce tank heats up in 3 minutes and provides anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half of continuous steam. It however doesn't come with a precision tip that the Rowenta models have. This would be a nice upgrade to the model but at less than have the Rowenta price will give it a pass here. Number 1. Rowenta DW9280 Digital Display Steam Iron. A lot of digital quality of life options in a great package. As a base package, this Rowenta is already great. 1800 watts, a 11.8 ounce tank, 400 microvolts in its stainless steel sole plate, and a self cleaning system to remove calcium, increasing the life of your iron. In addition, it has digital setting readouts and does all types of fabric silk, nylon, cotton, wool, and linen, and has standard auto shut off 30 seconds on the face or side, 8 minutes if it's set upright. Additionally, it has a unique feature, if left still, in any position, for more than a few seconds, steam shuts off, though the steam iron itself won't cut all the way off until the criteria for auto shutoff are met. This makes it easy to conserve steam and quickly tend to something else if need be. For its asking price it's pushing the edge of what I'd suggest paying for a steam iron, but it more than delivers enough quality to justify it.